Hi people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Because we are all suffering in this energy crisis, the cost of energy has gone up so high that we have to come up with new ways to save energy. Every appliance in your home that generates heat uses kilowatts of electricity, so I'm going to attempt to use this dehumidifier instead of my heat producing laundry tumble dryer. This is the Miko Dryer Reek 1, 18 liter I dehumidifier, I bought it from Costco's for around 200 pounds. It's got a laundry mode button, wow. Added bonus it's going to clean the air as well. Standard stuff comes in the box, the dehumidifier, some instructions and an air filter there is little to no assembly, you just have to insert the air filter and it's ready to go. You can buy replacement filters on Amazon for about £25 for a pack of three. Apparently they clean all small particles like pet hair and dust from the room. So not only are you going to save money drying your clothes, you may just live longer too. In order to see how much power this device is consuming, I bought this Inagini energy meter from Amazon for £20. This should show me how much it costs to run this device in pounds and pence. Okay. Ah, it's a full wash. Back again. Okay, that's our extra rinse. Oh yes. <laughs> Do it again. Do it in a one night stand. Okay, so we're going to fill this thing up and then we're going to put this right up against it here. Turn it on. Pop your ankle. Plug it into my engine meter, not that I know how to use the engine meter yet. Come in. Put it in. Now, switch it on. It's on. Woo! Woo! We've got movement. Okay. And we're going to put it on. It says 84, I don't know why. I think that's the moisture in the room. I'm going to put it on dry clothes. Got a picture of clothing on there. It says 35, 84. That's it. I hope I got it right way around. Uh, I don't know. Should it be that way around? Should it be that way around? That, that feels like air in there and air out there. So I'm going to go that way around and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah. So we'll leave that. I'll keep testing, try to keep the feeling the clothes, probably be overnight, and we'll see how it goes, see if it dries the clothes. Usually these clothes take three days to dry. So let's see if this. Okay, so I only managed to leave it on for four hours yesterday, and then somebody decided to sleep in the room and I didn't want to leave it on with them because I didn't feel safe. Right, I've got a little basin. They feel dry, to be honest, four hours last night, and then overnight just sitting there, everything feels dry. So let's see how much water we collected. Can you see it through the thing? Not see nothing in there. Ooh, there's water in there. There is water. All right, let's see if we can. Uh... Wow. Wow. Oh my. Ooh. So it was just on for four hours yesterday, and we've got 800 milliliters of water out of the clothes. I reckon that's a success. We're gonna do some more testing, work some more stuff out, but wow, dry clothes, dehumidifier. I think it's the way to go.